Welcome back to another Island Fisherman Magazine fly tying video where we tie some of my favorite flies for fly fishing on Vancouver Island. And today we're tying the hotspot stonefly. The secret lies in the ice dub hotspot, which really attracts attention. And when combined with the tungsten bead, it really helps get the fly down right in front of the fish, especially when water levels are higher. And anywhere from November to March, this is my go-to fly. I put this fly on every single day and have tremendous luck. For the first step, I'm using a nymph hook in size 8 and a 4.5 mil gold tungsten bead. And I'm tying this all together in one knot white Vivis thread. And then wrap to just past the bend of the hook. Next I grab two goose biads. Now these have a natural curve to them, so make sure when you tie them in, they're facing outwards and away from the fly. Next I just have a piece of copper wire that I tie in to later secure the dubbing in place. So I grab a black piece of pheno skin, cut it to length, and attach it at the tail. Next I grab a piece of yellow stonefly dubbing and create a dubbing noodle around the thread. Then I'll wrap it forward, making sure each wrap is tight and even. Then I grab that pheno skin, pull it forward, making sure it's relatively tight over the thorax. Then I secure it down and fold that extra piece back. And this can create a little bit more realistic profile for the fly. And now just to bring that copper wire forward, making sure each wrap is evenly spaced. And that wire goes underneath that extra tab. And now time for the rubber legs. These also have a little bit of a curve to them, so make sure they're facing away from the nymph as well, sticking out in a really buggy format. And for the final step, create another dubbing noodle with a hot ice stub and wrap towards the head of the fly, making sure to carefully go around each set of legs so they're splayed out evenly and nicely. And then just secure the thread with a couple whip finishes, and then a dab of UV resin just to secure that dubbing noodle, make sure that fiber doesn't come unraveled. And there you have it, one of my favorite nymphs for fishing the Cowichan River and many other Vancouver Island streams. I wish you the best of luck on it, and I hope to see you out there on the river.